Children are wiser than elders. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful village. It was rainy season. It had rained and stopped a little while ago. Two girls were playing in the street water. It was festival time. They were wearing new clothes. Mona was the younger and Anju was the older girl. Mona stamped her foot in the water. It was a little muddy. The muddy water splashed. It fell on Anju's new clothes. Anju was just rubbing the mud out. At that time, her mother was walking that way. She looked at her daughter's dress. She scolded her daughter. How can you make your new dress so dirty? Mona splashed water on me, mother, said Anju. Anju's mother caught Mona. She gave two, three slaps on Mona's back. Mona started crying loudly. Her house was close by. Mona's mother heard her daughter crying. She came out in a hurry. Why are you crying? Anju's mother hit me on my back, said Mona. Mona's mother abused Anju's mother. Soon they started quarreling loudly. Other women from the village joined them soon. Some supported Anju's mother while some supported Mona's mother. The men also joined in the fighting. The quarrel became never ending. At that time, Anju's grandmother came out of the house. She told the men and the women not to fight. It is festival time. People should not quarrel. No one listened to her. No one cared for her words. In the meantime, Mona and Anju forgot about their quarrel. They became friends again. They moved away from the fighting crowd and started playing again. Now the old woman said to the fighting groups, Look at the children. They have forgotten their quarrel. They have started playing again. They have become friends again. But you elders are still fighting. Are you not ashamed of yourself? All of them looked at the little girls. They felt ashamed. They went back to their houses quietly. Moral Children forget and forgive very easily. Controlling Anger Once there was a little boy who always used to get very angry. One day his father told him, Whenever you get angry, you must hammer one nail into the pen. As the boy always used to get very angry, on the first day he had to hammer 30 nails in the pen. Over the next few days, the little boy learned to control his anger. So now, the number of nails the boy had to hammer gradually came down. The boy realized that it was much more easier to control his anger than to hammer the nails. Finally, one day came when he realized that he was not getting angry anymore. He rushed to his father and shared to him about this. His father was very happy. Now the father told him that whenever you are able to control your anger, you are supposed to remove one nail from the pen. As the days passed, the young boy was able to remove all the nails from the pen. He was very happy. He went and told this to his father. His father caught his hand and took him towards the pen. The father said, Well done my son, but look at the fence. 
even though you have removed the nails the holes are still there the fence is not the same similarly when you say things to someone in anger the scars always remain the moral of the story is anger is a bad thing you should never get angry count the blessings not the curses in a family lived ram radha and their only son arjun ram used to work in a factory he used to work very hard and earned enough to support his family with the basic needs arjun was a naughty boy he always used to keep asking for new things one day he asked his father to get him a new pair of his favorite sports shoes after work ram went to a shop and inquired for the shoes arjun had asked for but those shoes were very expensive so ram bought another pair of shoes and returned home when ram gave the new shoes to arjun arjun was very disappointed that his father did not bring him the shoes that he wanted he cried a lot and left the house in anger he started walking on the streets and after some time he sat near a bus stop and wondered when he would get the expensive pair of shoes that he wanted just then another boy passed by on his crutches when arjun saw that boy he was shocked to see that the boy had no legs tears started falling from arjun's eyes he thanked god for giving him legs and a family who was so caring moral count the blessings not the curses